our advisory group on new and emerging respiratory virus threats, NERVTAG, has spent the last few days analysing this new variant. There's no evidence that it causes more severe illness or higher mortality, but it does appear to be passed on significantly more easily. The coronaviruses have been with us, with man, since the beginning of mankind. You know, uh, th these are viruses that co uh, coexist with us. And so uh, every year and every, every, every few months, a virus will change a little bit because they mutate all the time. Mm -hmm. They have to mutate, otherwise they can't keep on, you know, um, uh, going back and forth between you and me and animals or whatever you want. So it's a completely normal uh, thing that, that these, these viruses, which are the most successful viruses in the world, together with the flu viruses, by the way, because they manage to keep the host alive. They don't kill the host. They don't want to kill us. They want to come and visit me, and then they want to go and visit the next guy, you know. And um, uh, in order to be able to do this, they, they change very little all the time, so that when they come back next year, they come and, and visit me again. Uh, otherwise, my, my immune system, you know, would, 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 would not allow their entry at all. You see, this is something that people don't really understand. Given the early evidence we have on this new variant of the virus, the potential risk it poses, uh, it is with a very heavy heart, I must tell you, we cannot continue with Christmas as planned.